this illness kills. It disrupts lives, it disrupts personal relationships, it disrupts careers. Bipolar disorder is also very difficult to treat. So although we have a number of different medications, the problematic thing with these medications is that we really do not have a method to determine which medication is best for the specific individual. So our team decided to work with stem cells. Induced pluripotent stem cells are critical to the research in bipolar disorder because it involves cells derived from the adult who are affected by the disorder. We've taken skin samples, biopsies, from patients who have been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. and We've reversed the clock and turned them into stem cells and then used those stem cells to differentiate into neurons. We've created uh, cell lines that behave like brain cells with bipolar disorder. By comparing neurons from bipolar individuals and from controls, we've been able to see that they interact very differently with each other. They respond differently to lithium. And so it's leading us to think about ways that we might treat that difference. And hopefully we'll be able to come up with new ideas, new approaches for better medicines. We're going to be making these findings available to other scientists. We're making our stem cells uh, themselves available to other scientists. This will be the basis for uh, new models of treatment for this illness. It'll be the basis of treatment for new models uh, to treat mood disorders, including depression. I think the most important thing is how much hope it gives people that for the first time we'll be able to really maybe match a patient's disease with the kind of medication that might be most efficient for them. This work has enormous potential. There are a host of different research dimensions that uh, this is about to take us down and it's a very exciting time.